Hi friends, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. And as promised, I have a marketplace video for you today. The journals that came all the way from China created by Sophie. I'm so excited to share those. Before I start that, I want to show you this ephemera pack that I put in my shop today. These images may look familiar if you followed me for a while because I used to um, sell these images in a bound book of prints. I used to carry bound book of prints. However, my ephemera packs sell better. And um, so that's what I've done. I've printed them on 110 pound ivory cardstock and you have a choice of nine to a page or six to a page. And um, there's 27 different images, three pages of nine to a page, or there's 36 different images, six to a page, six pages. And you can just select that in the drop down box. They're also available digitally. Um, so if you're interested in that as well, you can do that. I'm also going to do a little giveaway here. I'm going, I have, um, two, I have my six to a page and I have my nine to a page. So what I'm going to do is if today, which is April 5th, it is a Friday, April 5th, 2019, if you purchase a marketplace journal today, whether it's one of Sophie's or one of the other ones, for each marketplace journal that you purchase, I will send one page. It may be this or it may be that. So if you buy two marketplace journals, I'm going to grab two pages of printed ephemera and I'm going to put it in there as a thank you. Um, and there will be the hummingbird theme. In order to get that, however, you have to put in the notes section, hummingbird. When you check out, there's a notes section. You need to type the word hummingbird and it has to be on April 5th. So if there is no um, note, then I will not put it in there. That'll just help me to remember. All right, so here we go. Oh, also in the notes section, when you write hummingbird, if you would prefer the digital version instead of me sending you the print, you can say hummingbird digital and then I will just send you a um, PDF link so you can print them out. Okay, here we go. Let's get into this box. It is rather big and I'm excited to go through it. I'm trying to open it here to the side. So the first thing, oh my, dropping stuff already. So the first thing is some goodies she sent me from China, which I am so excited for. I wanted to already put them into my stash but I wanted to be able to show them to you and I knew if I put them in my stash that I they would get assimilated and I wouldn't be able to find them. So she made me this envelope and she just put, look at, these are library cards from China. I mean, th that is just incredible. I love that. I've never had anything like this or seen anything like that. And she wrote me a sweet little note. So some of this stuff will go into my personal junk journal. She sent me some flowers and then a whole bunch of like ephemera and doilies and things from China, which I am so thrilled because you don't get stuff. I love getting things from other countries and packages and happy mail. There's book pages. So it, oh, look at how pretty that is. So it just makes me so happy that she thought of me. It's a little, wow, look at that wallpaper. I think she had everything and yeah, she had all this stuff in this um, like wallpaper bag for me. So um, that will go with my stuff. Let's get into some of the journals. So the first one is this adorable, it looks like it is a traveler's notebook cover with two um, inserts. There's the elastic. Look at that marbled look paper and the little corners. It is so cute. It fits well in your hand. It feels really good. All right, so then this just unwinds, so you can open it. Ledger folio style cover, blue and green marble cover. So she took the Nick the Booksmith course, which I was wondering if she did. Look at that little embroidered pocket. Some tickets, some collaged things. So the inserts are sewn together, but they can be removed just slip it out of the elastic. So the first one has this map paper on the front. And then all this variety of papers. I'm seeing a lot of blues. Look at that. It's an embossed kind of shimmery pink paper. There's 
a little journal card, ledger, stationery, music paper, book pages, magazine pages. So there's a great variety, coffee dyed paper, but there's a lot of room for you to, look at those, look at how beautiful. Um, a lot of room for you to totally, this looks like this is from a Daphne's Diary, to totally make it your own, which is what you want in something like this. This would be perfect for a personal junk journal. So then there's this kind of green watercolor type paper, and then there's some coffee dyed index cards, vintage book page, and a little pocket here. I really like this size. I, I think it's really cute. So you get quite a lot of pages. And then in the back, there's this double pocket where you can tuck in ephemera or washi samples or whatever. And then I think this might be a side pocket as well. There's some ephemera in here as well. There we go. So that is this one. Okay, let's set that over here. I ran out of room. Okay, this is pretty. It's called, let's see, it says a place on earth. Look at that tassel. Look at those beads. How pretty is that? I could just hold that all day. So this looks like it's a repurposed book cover, but she covered the spine with fabric, lace. There's four signatures that she's sewn in. And then if you can see on the side, the journal jewelry hanging off all these like fabric tabs. Wow, so pretty. I'll, I'll just sit here like 20 minutes later, I'll still be petting that, that tassel. Okay, so it's an altered book journal, just like I said. So here's like rather a big bag that she has some ephemera. In this one, you would get one of these book things as well. Look at that embossed, wow. Wow, that is so pretty. And then she's got stuff inside as well. What I think is amazing is that you would not typically be able to buy something like this with affordable shipping because it comes um, from across the world. I mean, if you're buying it from Canada or the United States or even like uh, the UK or something, most of my orders come from Canada and the United States. I do have a few other countries that do purchase sometimes, um, but shipping would be astronomical on a journal like this. But because she sent me a whole box at once, um, she saved on the shipping and now I can send it you know, American shipping prices, like domestic shipping. And you could even get free shipping if you buy three items in my shop. Look at that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I, I guess her style is really speaking to me today. It's peaceful, lots of blues and greens. I don't know, I just, it makes me want to, I don't know, go someplace relaxing and just, grab one of these journals and start writing in it and start um, like, I don't know, even as a glue book. Though these are perfect for, for actually writing. There's so many pages here that I just wanna start adding goodies to. So pretty, look at that. And I wish that I could let you feel it because all of these, like this is like a semi-gloss you have like all these different textures. This is like almost like a linen type paper. And then here we, you can feel vellum. This, I bet, I don't know for sure, this screams the mushroom market to me. And I don't know whether she watches the mushroom market, but look at that little vellum pocket. Look at all of the like little pieces of ephemera stuck in the pockets and then this tag. I mean, it comes right off. 
How beautiful is that? So I'm not sure if that's where she got that idea from, but that's what I think when I see it. Look at that tab. <laughs> so pretty. Bird pages. Here's the next signature. This is from a calendar from 1995, which I believe is actually vintage now. I was 10 years old at the time, so it doesn't seem vintage to me. And I'm sure to a lot of you, it doesn't seem vintage either. Oh, here's another one. Wow, whoever gets this journal is getting the mother load. Look at how cool. And so much like Chinese ephemera, like you would not normally be able to get that. Okay, so here's another one. This looks like an Ideals Magazine type page. I don't know that it is the Ideal. Wow, okay, I wish you could see this. I gotta get closer to the camera. It has all these tiny little stones, these little tiny stones in it. Oh my. This journal is a favorite of mine. It's like, can I justify buying another journal right now? No, I can't really. I would love to, but I still have blank journals. Oh, and I know that's no reason to not buy another one, but when you have this craft room as big as mine and a bunch of, oh, these are my little, well, I don't know if she got it from me, but little vintage how to draw cards. I do sell these printed in my shop. Ones like this, I don't love exactly that. Oh, look at this envelope with the ephemera. Well, if one of these is conveniently missing from the shop, you'll know I bought it. Hopefully, uh, how my self-restraint won't come back to bite me because I've only ever bought one journal from the marketplace, the wallpaper, and I love it. I haven't used it yet. I'm saving it for a special time. But there's so many beautiful journals that have slipped through my fingers. Look at that. So pretty. It's been my experience that you can nearly always enjoy things if you make up your mind firmly that you will. Wow. This is perfection in a journal. In my opinion, this is a perfect journal. So there's that one. But we're not done. Look at this one. It is so cute. Okay, so it's a fabric cover. You have metal book corners. It's a soft fabric cover, but she's layered up different textured fabrics. And this is actually almost like a fabric paper. It's not like a paper paper. Little button, lace, a little bead. Look at the side profile. Okay. I think some of these felt might have fallen out of the pocket, so I'm just going to tuck them in the pocket. Green butterfly. How cute. Little fabric pocket. Embossed pocket. Little cluster, some more embossing. That's fussy cut out and glued on. I'm trying to point out some of the details I noticed that might not show up on camera. It kind of looks like wallpaper, but I think it's a printed wallpaper. Doesn't feel like wallpaper. Doily, this is embossed and inked. Very beautiful. Fabric and lace. Kind of like a vellum stationery. There's a guest check in there. The paper beneath this is all embossed. This is all embossed, you can feel it. Vellum, that's embossed and it's also shimmery, like a metallic paper. Look at that, okay, so you have an envelope flip, a like a tracing paper type stationery, then you have the a little tiny doily in there, and then the other side. And in here is just little bits and pieces of embossed papers and wallpapers and things. This is a gorgeous, I, I don't know if the metallic is showing up, but it is like a greenish blue metallic. It's been inked, embossed, 
Project Life card. This is embossed. And then there's one of the little Chinese library cards. <clears throat> okay, there's something in here. Got some graph, some like little papers, a Project Life card, and um, another index, Chinese like index card. I can't read it, so I don't know if it's like library or what, but. And then there's a bird tag in the back. That one is so pretty. So there's green butterfly, but we are not done yet. Okay, here's one. It says be kind. It's fabric covered. It's relatively large. It's at least a nine by six, I would guess. Big metal book corners and then three signatures. And then on here we have some sari silk and just a little beaded tassel, just a little one. I think they're glass beads. They feel really heavy and really good. A little pom-pom trim closure, which you could keep on here, or if you wanted to, you could use it like to line journal pages, and then you could tie this up with some lace or a ribbon or something like that, because it might get kind of difficult tying and untying that every time you're using it. Wow. Look at how pretty. Okay, yeah, it's a six by nine and a half inch fabric journal. So here in the front, we have like a fabric collage journal card. I made some like this recently. They were so much fun to make. And then just some pieces of ephemera and a postcard. And then in here you have guest check an embossed metallic journal card. Those would be absolutely beautiful for mounting a photo on. We have lace on the pages, lace fabric, beautiful tabs. This is a really pretty printed on fabric, like a linen. Oh, and my battery is low. Hopefully, I'm still filming. <laughs> might have to speed up slightly. I've noticed with this phone, if my phone dies, I lose everything that I've recorded already. There's an upholstery fabric ribbon. I just love these journals. Oh, sorry if I'm going faster, but I want to make sure you can see all her journals before my phone dies. Whoop. That's pretty fabric flip. That lace in the back, it looks like she's just included like a whole bunch of papers that you can use for collaging or other things. And then a little envelope. So there is that one, the Be Kind. I loved her journals last time, but I can tell even with making these that she has grown and improved as an artist, just like we all do when we practice. I'll tie that later. All right, so here's a little, a smaller one. How pretty is that? That's all glued down, okay. Okay, I am back. My phone had decided to quit filming. I had low battery and low storage. I don't think I lost anything. So that is wonderful. Let's see if I can make sure that the lighting is proper here. Okay, so we were just getting into this little cardstock journal from Sophie. A uh, beautiful woman it's called. It's a traveler's notebook, 3.9 by 7.9. So about four by eight. It is so cute. ephemera, bits and pieces. Now if I can just get through the flip through while my boys are halfway happy. Um, it is last day of spring break. Next week they go back to school, or the two older ones do anyway, which it's really nice having them home for sure, but sometimes having a little bit of peace and quiet for part of the day is nice too. They only go to school half days. 
All sorts of cute little ephemera. A lot of blues. I think she likes blues and greens. I know I do. Beautiful. All right, we got to see what this is. It looks like a file, little file folder. Oh, it's a file folder journal, like a little booklet journal that looks like a file folder. That is adorable. So, so cute. So that is that one. I like her smaller sized ones too. They're so cute. Look at how pretty that fabric is with the sequins sewn on it. Three signatures, pom-pom trim on the edges. It, the, I think this is a sari silk closure. If I can get into it. Not sure which side to pull. You know, when you don't tie it, you don't know how to untie it sometimes. I'll get it. I'll get it. Just don't want to yank on it. There we go. There we go. All right. Oriental beaded fabric cover journal. So pretty. Seems like there are similar type papers in this journal as some of her other ones. Here's this feels like wallpaper. But I do like the addition of the pom-pom trim on the edges. There, that has that ro those rocks in it again. So unique. I've never seen that. Now, these are my cards from Ode to Nature. That's fun to see them in there. Little vellum pockets. So cute. Hard stock and that's pretty like the double. There's two fabrics there. I love that. Looks like silk down the side there. Some music paper. I love this paper. I had bought a single sheet of it. I think I used it on a journal or something. I don't even remember now. All right, so there's that one. And I'll tie it back up, hopefully, so I can untie it easily. Sometimes a sari silk can be really fragile. You don't want to yank on it. But it adds such a beautiful, shabby look. Love it. All right, here is another one. This looks like a Reader's Digest. And it's just been repurposed. So seam binding closure. That is beautiful. Little pocket in the front. Blue Reader's Digest altered book. Look at that. She like stapled the doily, the fabric, the little piece of ephemera. Here's a collaged tag. So pretty. Lots of blues again. Now, either she loves blue or she had a lot of blue things to craft with. Pretty peacock, beautiful florals, beaded trim down here. Got lined paper, grid paper, coffee dyed paper, book pages. So pretty. So this one is very basic. There's not a ton of ephemera in it, but there's lots of different types of paper. Perfect for making your own. Some pretty lace on the edges. Look at that, that is so pretty. I love blues in a junk journal. Lots of pages and then in the back, there's a little fabric snippet and a little map envelope. That is really pretty trim there. So there's one left. There's the 
cute. Look at, it is an elephant journal. And I am thinking of Joanne right now, if you're watching this, Joanne. You love elephants, I know, so it made me think of that. I love elephants too. I think they're actually my favorite animal. Um, I used to, pandas used to be my favorite animal when I was a young teenager. But there's, elephants are just so much, so, they have so much emotion and they're just so, they're calm. They're like these gentle giants, yet they have a fierce side, yet they, they have a protective side and a very emotional side. They're just so interesting. I love them. And this is like a really heavy duty, like canvas fabric. Got a wallpaper pocket. This one's called Deep Blue Fabric. So here's a fabric um, collaged journal card and a piece of ephemera. I don't think this is like elephant themed. It's just the fabric on the front is elephants. It's just a junk journal that has um, lots of blues in it. That cute paper there. Some, like old magazine pages, old book pages. Very, very nice. I love the combinations of the papers in here. Not really any ephemera. So you can totally, like, oh wow. So in the middle, there's this gorgeous wallpaper pocket. And here's your ephemera. So here's like a booklet that's been stapled together with a whole bunch of cutoffs and papers that you can use for collaging. Then she's included some tags and some journal cards and postcards. And there's a piece of embossed paper and music card stock. So you have lots of things to add. And I love this pouch. You could keep this pouch in with the journal to keep all your ephemera and pictures and things, or you could even take it and sew it into another journal. So many things you can do. You could, I like to think of how you can get the most for your money. So you could buy this journal as a gift for somebody and you could just take this for yourself here. They would never know. They're still getting a wonderful journal, and then you're getting that beautiful pouch with ephemera from China in it that you could reuse, and you've kind of, you know, killed two birds with one stone. You've gotten yourself a little something, and you've gotten a great gift for somebody else. I just like to think of different ways. So that's all that she sent, and that is the end of today's video. So thank you for watching. Also, this weekend, and I forgot to mention this at the beginning, but this weekend my book page bundles are on sale. Um, you get one pound of assorted book pages for your journals. Lots of vintage, lots of beautiful pictures, lots of lots of different themes um, that you could use, and that's on sale for only four dollars and ninety nine cents. It's normally seven dollars and ninety nine cents. So pick up a few pounds of book pages maybe when you order, so that you're stocked up for your next and upcoming journals. I'll see you all in the next video.